Introducing the 2020-3 Schrodinger release. Let's take a look at some of the new features and enhancements. Starting in Maestro, users can now build DNA and RNA strands in addition to peptides from a sequence using the Build Biopolymer from Sequence panel. Simply provide an entry title and enter a sequence or load it from file. In the case of DNA, choose whether it's single or double-stranded and B or A DNA helix shape and then click Build. Also in Maestro, we see the 2D overlay can easily resize to enlarge the display of the 2D structure in the workspace. And a new quick select object is available for quickly selecting residues at the protein membrane interface. Back in 20-1, we saw the beta release of the multiple sequence viewer. Click the link above to watch the highlights from that previous video. Now for 20-3, we see the official release of the multiple sequence viewer. Notable new highlights include improved antibody annotation and selection, new batch mode for homology modeling, and easily display sequence descriptors or properties in the new metrics column. The new ligand designer is also officially out of beta in 20-3. In addition to stability and performance enhancements, new workflows for docking congeneric ligands from file has been added, as well as the ability to add properties from the project table for existing ligands to appear in the MPO and radar plot. To see recent highlights of several key ligand designer features, click the link above to watch the previous 20-2 new features video. And to learn more about the ligand designer, we highly recommend viewing the ligand designer design your way presentation from the Schrodinger Summer of Science series, see links in the description. In 20-3, significant performance improvements were made in IFDMD. It now contains a novel triage stage to remove unphysical poses which desolvate polar groups. By removing poor quality poses early in the algorithm, the more expensive GPU calculations are reserved for more promising poses, and this provides an overall speed up of five times compared to previous IFDMD releases. And to learn more about IFDMD, and to see how it can expand the domain of applicability of structure-based drug design, check out the IFDMD presentation, also from the Summer of Science series, link in the description. Improvements to the FEP Plus panel include a new option to automatically generate missing force field parameters with the force field builder as part of the FEP Plus workflow. And a new advanced option to customize the number of lambda windows for different perturbation types. In the biologic suite, we see improvements to antibody humanization, including the ability to calculate and report metrics on human germline similarity. This makes it clear to the user what percent human their sequence is and quickly determine if it's necessary to increase the identity to match FDA requirements. The peptide docking panel now supports docking of peptides containing non-standard amino acids. And finally, over in NIME, the collection of live design specific NIME workflows continues to grow once downloaded, these can be added to the live design as new models. These are just a few of the highlights of the 20-3 Schrodinger release. As always, for the complete list of previous enhancements and features, visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features. And be sure to check out the collection of online seminars and poster presentations from the Schrodinger Summer of Science series.